they no longer live the way they used to. So a lot of things have changed and now they don't live in a sustainable way. People think that indigenous live in, like, in harmony with nature, but I think, especially in the last few years, there's, there's a problem with the indigenous living in, in these very fragile places because they no longer live the way they used to. They want to be like us, like the Western culture, and they are assimilating all the bad things that we have. I, I notice a big uh, a lack of interest in the culture. So if you see old generations, they would live in the forest, they would know how to, I don't know, how to, how to hunt, how to make the blog and stuff like that. The new generations are more interested in what's happening on the other side of the world. But I think the appearance of a cash market in, the, in their lives changed everything. Because now they don't hunt for self-consumption, but also for, to, you know, to sell animals for, in order to get money for, to cover different needs that now they have. The fact that now that they, they have uh, new weapons and new ways to transport whatever they kill uh, has increased the amount of things that they hunt. And that's certainly a big problem, especially in places like yeah. this. So it's a lot of knowledge that's being lost. And this is happening super fast. This, this uh, tribe in particular, the Warani, we were contacted like maybe 60, 70 years ago. And in, in seven decades, their, their life has, ch has absolutely changed. For, for bad, I would say. They just kill everything. Like, it's like their traditional knowledge of how to hunt or, or, or you, should, you shouldn't you should kill this animal or you should wait until this monkey is old enough to have babies, stuff like that. All that knowledge is lost. And that combined with the fact that they think that there's, there's an infinite amount of animals in the forest just puts a lot more pressure. They keep deforestating and they keep killing animals you know, in a really huge, number and eventually they themselves notice the difference because they have to go farther and farther in order to get food but that doesn't seem to bother them so it's it's pretty obvious if you've seen the world before and how the forest was before and now you definitely see a difference on, on the amount of animals you see not only by eye but also with uh, with your with camera traps or with other kind of studies it's pretty obvious that there's been a huge decline in animals. I think there are solutions. Obviously the main solution would be education. Also I think they should be subjected to the regular rules. You know in, in Nepal for example if you kill an endangered animal, if you, you know, a jaguar or a bear or something, you go to jail. That doesn't happen to them. To them. So they just they know that nothing happens if you kill a jaguar, therefore they just keep killing jaguars. So I think the, the law should apply to them as well. Because if they're not interested and they only want to, you know, get what we can give them, it's they're, they're, they lose the interest and then there's nothing you can do.